Okay guys, today I'm going to be talking about these things right here. The pyramids for the, uh, the Napoleon event that just released. So here the expedition to Egypt is what the event's called. And I've got a trick for y'all for how y'all can go to the top of your leaderboards. Like my alliance helped our mate Dragos. We helped him pass all these other guys up that are far stronger than him with this trick that I figured out with uh, the mechanics for how this works. So if we look in here, there's a quick explanation for how it works. Essentially, each pyramid you attack, once you kill it, you're going to get a certain set number of points. Now, if you rally it, that set number of points as far as I can tell, it doesn't change, or if it does increase the amount of points for rallying it, it's not a whole lot. And then it takes that that block of points and splits it among the rally members based on the power sent. So, the key thing for this event, and let me see, right here, each player has 10 chances to attack the fortress or pyramids every day. Attacking, aiding, or initiating a rally will consume challenge chances while participating in a rally will not consume challenge chances. So we're going to be exploiting the uh, fact that it doesn't consume a chance when you join a rally. And that's basically what we did to boost Dragos to the top. So once you use all 10 chances and you have zero left, you can't join any more rallies for the day. I don't know if that's a bug or if it's supposed to be like that, but to do this, to maximize your points, you're going to want to make sure this stays at the very least one. Now, for the targets you're going to be selecting, if you can one-shot at level 5 pyramid, that's great. That's going to make this easier to get more points, but you don't have to. Dragos can't one-shot one. He can only do the tier 4s, and we got him that high with just the tier 4 pyramids. And the people he passed on the leaderboard were ones that were doing the tier 5s. So... It's, it's a real game changer. So basically, what you're going to do is you're going to want to go around and knock out nine pyramids the highest you can, whether that be fives or fours. Now, points you get for doing a tier five, 6.4 million. So if you knock out nine of these, it's going to be about 60-ish million, somewhere around there, for getting nine. Tier 3s is 3 million each, so 27 million points. And then you can claim the crates that pop up and get a little bit extra points there too. Now, once you've done that, you got your 9 pyramids knocked out. What you're going to want to do is you're going to need to get your alliance members to help you. So since everybody has 10 tan chances, but it doesn't charge you a chance to join the rally, you're going to have your mate come over here, and they're going to start... A rally on this and they're only going to send one troop to it so the power for them starting the rally is going to be pretty much zero so you join the rally with your full march you have all like a way larger portion of power so you're getting most of the points for killing this pyramid so you can take your nine chances and then with that one remaining chance you can join as many rallies as you want so that's just limited by however many alliance members you have that can start a rally for you. And you can kill pretty much, well, as many pyramids as you have time for. And I don't think a lot of people have realized that, that mechanic is in it yet. At least on my server, I know I'm the only one that noticed it. And then uh, we used that. So if you're wanting to do this event, Use your nine chances, highest pyramid you can, and then get your alliance mates to rally them for you to knock them out. Now, your alliance mates aren't going to get any points just for starting the rally if they're not sending anything. So they're, it's pretty much them just donating their chances to you, which, I mean... You might be able to cooperate with your alliance that well, I don't know. It just it just depends. Like us, we decided that 
it would be worth us worth it for a couple of us to sacrifice our chances to boost somebody to the top of the leaderboard. Because if you look at the rewards for, uh, let me see if I can find where the rewards are. Yeah, the rewards for uh, Monarch first, second, and third place is the permanent effect for this fortress. And this one does give you some buffs, specifically for monster killing, which is really nice. So if you want to boost your main monster rally guy or girl to the top so they can get this and help them out a bit, it's definitely going to help out. But if everybody's just fighting for themselves, like... If you're just going to get like top, say top 10 to top 20, the words for top 10 to top 20 really aren't that great. Top 10, 50,000 gems. I mean, gems are nice, but you can get gems from other events. A couple gold coins, just some basic stuff. Not really worth it. The other thing for this event is that the alliance ranking is pretty good. If you can get first place, everybody in your alliance gets the 14-day pyramid, which is pretty nice. So, the way to boost the overall score for your alliance, this trick isn't going to help you with that because it's, uh, it's basically just one alliance member donating their points to another. So it doesn't help the overall alliance. To help your overall alliance score, if you want to get the number one alliance spot, you're going to be needing to take down as many tier fives as you can. So if you can't do a tier five, start a rally, have people join, knock that out, because people that join the rally, it's not going to count for them. So they'll give you more points for your total score. If you're knocking out as many tier fives as possible. Because if you look at the alliance ranking, we're still behind you by a little bit. Just because they have a lot of big players and can knock out a lot of tier 5s. Whereas we we don't have that many doing tier 5s. We're, we're having to rally them. So we're keeping up barely. But you can see that by boosting a single player, it's really effective. <laughs> 